Hey guys, Target Recycling FPV. We are now at part two. We just got done assembling the frame and I'm not bombarding you guys with four hours of build videos. So now we're gonna do part two, which is gonna be the first component, which is gonna be our ESC, right? So if you follow part one, which is putting the frame together, at the end of the video, I did take the top off. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and go back to our, um, our view like this, our split screen view, or our picture in picture view, I guess is what you call it. And we're gonna grab that ESC. Now this is obviously following the Grand Oaks uh, High School Drum Club uh, build kit but uh, many of you will end up with the same kit like theirs or something very similar. In this case, this is our 35 amp ESC that we have as part of the kit. And we wanna get this ready, right? Now we're not gonna need the frame for this. This is part two of the video. Part two of the video is gonna be actually just getting the ESC ready, okay? So to get the ESC ready, the one thing that we wanna do, and I'm gonna use my little dorky goggles here, or my glasses. As much as I look like a dork with these things on, it's kind of a necessity and oh my gosh. Okay, so there's that geeky looking thing. But anyways, what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and put our focus on the table, not here, and we want to look at what we've got to do to tin this up, right? So we've got to get our flux pen ready. Now this has been beat to death, so I use the heck out of this pen, uh, but uh, I, I can still, uh, to just check and make sure I've got some flow of the material, I'll just run this across my tail and you can see that there's some liquid coming out, so I know it's working, right? So what we want to do is we want to go use some flux uh, here and get and tin our board up. So to do that, here's what happens. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just go over here and we're gonna start just gently going over these pads. Now, the cool thing is this particular manufacturer sent these to us with these already soldered. Much appreciated, guys. That's actually a big help, especially for these kits. All right, now, what we're gonna do is now that the flux is on there, we want it to kind of set a little bit. Make sure you've got your, um, make sure you've got your soldering iron ready to go and you got your solder ready. So let me go ahead and pull mine real quick. Okay, and you're gonna want this to be stable. Now, sorry, many of you guys have seen my helping hands here, which is this little table that I've been working on. Um, now I'm gonna to try to throw this in the mix here to show you why I use this, right? But here's my helping hands. And one of the reasons I use this is because I don't want this to move. So I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna actually put something on here to fasten it down. And let me see where that's gonna be. Um, I will use something like this, all right? Well, that's not gonna work. Let me just, I was hoping to use, uh, I'll just use a nylon fastener, I guess. All right, so I'm just gonna put this on and I'm just gonna spin this down. And, and, and if you got my kit, you've got one of these in there, so just use one to kind of hold it in place. I just want this to stay like level, okay? And I'm gonna take my little camera mount off here because I don't need that right now. Let me get all this stuff out of the way. So just find a way to, Find a way to make sure that you've got access to this without it bouncing all over the place. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and solder it. Let me get this glow out of here. I'm not sure what the glow is from. Let me see if I can block that somehow. Uh, no. All right. So let's do this. Let's turn that light off. See if we can block the glow a little bit and it doesn't look like it at all. Maybe that much. I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. There we go, there's my light, okay? And I'm just gonna go ahead, now that I've put the flux on here, I'm just gonna go ahead and tin these. And what that means is I'm just gonna quickly make sure that I have some solder, it doesn't have to be fully covered, but I wanna have some solder and I do not want this to sit on there for too long. So rule of thumb, put your finger on the board. As you're soldering, if you can't keep your finger on there, the board is too hot. You have gone way too long and you have heated up the board way too much, all right? So there's one side, now because I am I'm not gonna take this board off or turn, I'm not, not, not take the board off, I'm not gonna turn the table, but I'm not comfortable crossing over the board when I solder. I don't think it's a very safe way to solder because you could drop solder on something or touch part of it. And I'm not gonna worry about screwing it down at this point. I'll just hold it with my finger. But we've already tinned that side, so now we're just gonna go through and tin this side, all right? There you go. One more, and that's it. Now board's done. I mean, I can keep my fingers on here so I know that I haven't overheated it. And there you go. Your board is now tinned properly. Let me zoom out here a little bit, okay? You've got tin on all sides of this, so now you take your, whatever it is that's on the table off, okay? And what you wanna focus on now, is you wanna grab your frame, and you want to set this up, and we're gonna keep the, uh, the uh, pin uh, harness, uh, the pins and harness on top, just like that. 
And if you have your harness handy and you want to go ahead and just plug that in, let me take these goofy glasses off. So you can go ahead and plug the harness in, um, which, sorry, is right here, okay? And depending on how it's going to connect to your flight controller, um, and you want to look at this, so I need to look at this real quick. Sorry, I took the glasses off way too early. Let me just see something here. The pins should be on the top, I believe. So if I'm not mistaken, this should go in something like that. Okay, so there we go. And um, if we did it the other way, yeah, it would be the same other way. So there we go now, that's our harness. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and slide this down on those screws. We do have our, our uh, uh, nylon standoffs that we put on at the beginning when we were assembling the frame in the first video, right? So that's not gonna touch the um, frame. Therefore, we're not gonna ground it out. As you can see there, we still have a gap in there, okay, of about two millimeters. So now we can lay that down. And the only thing we have to do now is put in our standoffs to make sure that we clear the flight controller. So in your kit, you will have like a three or four millimeter. And our main goal is to clear this area right here, which is where the uh, plug goes. So that, let's just say for to be safe, we will use like a five millimeter. And you may actually, hold on, I'm jumping all over the place here. You may actually have in your kit, um, well, here, let me just do it like this. So I'm gonna use a five millimeter standoff. One, two, and I'll use four of them, right? Three, four, and now what that means is that when I put the next board on, I'm gonna clear everything uh, by roughly five millimeters all over, except that some of the things are pushed up, but just as an example, if I can find a board. Um, well, I don't have one laying around here right now, but uh, I'll show you in the third part of this video, which is going to be connecting the um, uh, ESC to the flight controller, because we're gonna be adding the flight controller next, and then what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna actually add the motors and make sure that we cut our wires long enough. So that actually, that'll be the next video. The next video is going to um, discuss putting the motors on because we have to solder those uh, to the board before we put the flight controller on because once the flight controller goes on, you won't be able to see the pads to solder to. So check out video three. This is part two, which is just getting ready, getting your ESC prepared, all right? And then we'll be doing part three here in just a little bit. Guys, if you have any questions, make sure to subscribe to uh, Cyclone FPV, our YouTube channel. Make sure to follow us on Facebook. And sorry, what I was saying was if you have any questions, hit me up at Tark at CycloneFPV.com. And as always, guys, God bless. Spend time with your family. Safe flying and just enjoy life. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.